Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing amazingly well on this fine day. Today we take a look at the second episode of My Happy Marriage. Very sad beginning, uh, maybe some hope with this new marriage and the fact that she changed household. We just met her future uh, husband, so I guess we'll see how it goes, if he's a nice guy, if he's a bad guy. I'm really impatient to dive into this episode. As a reminder, Uncut and early reactions are available on Patreon. The link is in the description. Without further ado, let's start. Okay, a red flag. Okay, well, I made some predictions last time and I think maybe I missed the mark a bit. He just seems like a not so good guy. Great, going from a bad household to a bad household. Maybe she will be able to change him, I don't know. But uh, if I say you die, you die, who treats people like that? And she's so polite, you know, she's used to being treated like this, which is sad. I will do a separate reaction to opening and ending. Uh, if there are several, I will react to all of them. Okay, that's a nice room, I guess. I think her, her previous room had like nothing. So... How exactly is he being nice right now? If I say you die, you die, this is not something that I consider really nice. I... Saimaru is her family, right? I think so. Really? What about the fire that you created in the, in the introduction? Was the first episode. What's in the box? Oh, this is a bit creepy. A spirit, I guess. Grotesque. if it comes from French. Grotesque is a word in French. Yeah, that's why this is messed up. You're not useless if you don't have magic. I feel you. I feel you. I'm hungry as hell right now. I didn't hit this morning. Okay. Miss Mio. Interesting. There is this baseline of respect that was nowhere to be seen in the previous household. You know. Can you add a please or if you want? Wouldn't kill you. Oh, he thinks about poison. Okay. This guy is on another level. I don't know if he's usually getting poison or if people try to assassinate him. I can understand his wariness. Uh, and to be fair, at this point, he doesn't know her, so he doesn't know that she's not an assassin. Still, I think there is a better way to handle this, but. I don't know, if he considers everyone to be hostile against him, this may be his way to handle everyone, you know? So maybe she will have to earn his trust as well. And 
he seems to be part of the military. ちょっと先ほどの新人訓練、やけに気合が入ってましたね。あら、今日は機嫌が悪いのかな。聞こえます。おい、工藤隊長。あらへん。おやおや、もしかしてまた婚約者に逃げられでもしましたか。くだらんことを言って
Oh, my, an apology, okay. Okay. And a threat. An apology and a threat. ほんと、あの泥棒猫の娘なだけあるわね。人を盗っと呼ばわりだなんて、少年が腐っているにもほどがあるわ。こんなもの、まだ持っていたのね。やめて。それ。反省するまで私の前に姿を見せないでもらえ
very interesting episode. Uh, we learn more about the new husband of Mio. He seems like a guy that has trouble with a lot of stuff, to be fair. This is not an excuse to be unnice, but this is a good explanation, I guess. Like if his previous fiancés were here for his money, his fame, or to kill him, uh, I kind of get his first um, reaction of being very wary of what's going on. I also think that deep down, he's a good guy. He seems like he leads a household that is way more respectful of people all around and that has less like discrimination and stuff like that. He also seems to have a good relationship at his work. So I don't really know which part of him seems very bad for people outside. Um, all of the rumors and the, the people saying that he's cold hearted and stuff like this. He seems very defensive, but I, I really don't know where it comes from except for the fact that he had a lot of different uh, fiancés before. Anyway, it's very interesting. Mio seems to kind of get used to the household. She's finally able to show what she's capable of. Um, in a weird way, this is kind of backwards, because when you think about it, she should not really do all of this kind of stuff. This last thing is a bit frightening maybe you know it's not great news that there might be power struggle around this but another thing that what i forgot his name the young master is doing quite good is that he realized a lot of stuff so he seems quite analytical and interested in her because if you don't really care about her i don't think he would have realized that her kimono was tattered and that her her hands were rough stuff like this so he seems interested, he seems analytical, and he seems ready to do something about it, at least to investigate. So in this episode, we learned a bit more about him. I think this was kind of the main point of, uh, of this one. Uh, overall, that was a fire episode. I can't wait to know even more. On that note, thank you so much for your support. Have a great, great day, and so long out.